Hello everyone, I'm Iron Phoenix, and welcome to my second part of the Industrial Craft uh, tutorials. In this tutorial, we are going to be looking at the new machines and the old machines, and quite how various upgrades affect you now. So, let's just wander over here and build a basic setup. So we need a few generators, a bat box, and some cable. And I'm just going to drop some charcoal in yeah. in each of these. So, Industrial Craft has changed a little bit. It's added additional tiers. Your tier 1 tools are your hammer, which is that one, and your cutter, which is that one. Your cutter makes is sorry. Your hammer makes plates out of bars, and your cutter makes wires out of plates. And there's um, a reduced amount of wires that you get from cutting plates compared to using the molder thing. Is it? It is called the... I always forget the name of this one. Um, the... Who is it? The Metal Former. So this is your Metal Former. Your Metal Former is your Tier 2 version of those tools. So instead of having one, one tool for one thing, one tool for another, you have this. So you've got an extruding that makes you your cables and various other things like cells and uh, fuel rods. Uh, your rolling, which makes your plates and um, various plating things. And your cutting, which um, you basically, once you've got a metal former, you barely use unless you've accidentally made some plates that you wanted to make into um, cables instead. So for now, we're just going to leave it on extruding, and I'm going to grab a copper ingot just so that you can see what happens so very quickly it makes um, well it makes cables out of your it makes your copper cables and you get three of them now what you can do with your chest is you can put in an injector upgrade it's this one what that does is it ejects anything in um, anything in here into a nearby inventory. It's kind of useful, very sort of akin to um, thermal, how thermal expansion does things so it can pass things on. What you can do with this is that you can set up um, chains. So you can have a macerator and you can have one of the new ore washers And you can have an, one of the new th thermal centrifuges, just that one. So the, the the macerator works exactly as normal, only it makes sort of iron. Um, it, it's not you don't make two iron dust anymore. You make a first stage of a process. So it's sort of like it's crushed iron ore, and you get two of them like that. Um, and crushed iron ore. If I just dump an injector upgrade into that one, it will pass it on to the ore washing plant. Let's grab some water for it. And what this will do is that it will wash the ore through, and it will give you. Um, purified iron ore, some iron, sort of little iron dusts, tiny dusts, and you will also get stone dust as well. Keep your stone dust because it's really useful for when you're making construction foam later. The construction foam recipe has changed. Uh, it's now six stone dust, one clay and two sand. So you don't have all the um, faff of making your coal dust and all your various dusts anymore it's just um, you just need to make your stone dust 
and then you put your purified ores into the thermal centrifuge and what this thermal centrifuge will do is it will probably run out of power in a second so let me just stick it in and to crystal which I can't do well if it runs out we can do something about that um, and it will give you some iron and I think it gives you some other materials as well I think it gives you a sort of tiny dust of gold so it's very much in the same way that GregTech gives you sort of additional things for processing ores more uh, so you've got a three stage uh, process essentially and what this these objective upgrades do allow allow you to do is um, process uranium because uranium now hurts quite a lot so if you can automate as much of that process as possible you don't have to um, risk sort of touching it as much uh, you can negate the effects by making yourself a hazmat suit um, but um, if you can if you can find a way of automating these systems then it just means that you don't have to get yourself your hazmat suit um, and just basically be wearing it all the time for when you're dealing with uranium uh, we'll go into uranium a little bit more next video and so this will give us some dusts it's quite slow but once it's once the thermal centrifuge is warmed up then the processing itself is quite quick it's the warming up that takes the time really and then you've got this thing up here so we get a tiny pile of gold dust and some iron dust and that's pretty much it for machines um, all the old favourites are still there you've got your overclockers, you've got your um, transformers and I think that's pretty much it we'll go into the canning machine and stuff in the next video but, um, for now, I think that's everything. Um, oh, and you've got you've also got your, you you've still got your furnaces, um, extractors, macerator, and compressor. Nothing, nothing has really changed with them. Uh, the recipes might have changed a little bit in how you do things, but other than that, it's all still pretty much the same. These are the only real things that have changed. The the way that you can have machines interact with other inventories and the additional um, uh, blocks as well, the, uh, the metal former, um, your oil washing plant and your thermal centrifuge. So um, that's it for this video, thanks for watching, I will see you next time.